grew up in the city of Philadelphia, lived for many years in New York, where I was an advertising salesman at Essence Magazine. Uh, I am also a filmmaker and a television news producer, uh, the award-winning filmmaker of Obama in Ghana, The Untold Story, uh, worked at Black Entertainment Television, where I created the Teen Summit Show. Uh, I'm an international media consultant, and I love what I do, and I'm very good at it, and uh, I'm very happy to be uh, here speaking to you now on African Bits. I was um, on a media trip um, to Equatorial Guinea, and uh, part of a huge contingent of African Americans from all over the country who were invited there as part of the Sullivan uh, Foundation's Sullivan Summit. And uh, we were guests of the country's president, uh, President Obiang, and uh, treated very well. The summit was a focus on the um, continuing bridge building between the continent, um, its academicians, its business people, its politicians, and people to people. Uh, between the United States and the continent. Equatorial Guinea is the only country in continental Africa where people speak Spanish. It was a colony of Spain. Um, there is a romantic energy uh, of the people there. What was the purpose of this whole um, summit in Guinea? The purpose of the summit was to bring African-American business people um, to uh, Equatorial Guinea um, to connect with uh, businesses there, to work with the government, to explore ways that um, uh, businessmen and women here uh, and corporations that are black owned uh, could engage and uh, find ways to work closely with uh, not only uh, the government and businesses in Equatorial Guinea but there were businesses and businessmen and ministers of, of uh, trade and commerce from uh, all over West Africa. So there were many opportunities for people to have private meetings to engage um, with business people in Equatorial Guinea, uh, to meet with people who were on the larger stage um, with regard to positions in government there in Equatorial Guinea, um, in Malabo, uh, the capital, and, um, and from all over West Africa. As someone who has covered news stories in Africa for uh, maybe 10 years, uh, as a uh, producer for CNN International Africa, that um, Africa's come a long way. It's been a very excellent um, laboratory for democracy. Um, and I have always thought that Africa isn't given enough credit uh, or cheerlead it enough for uh, the distance that it's traveled between now and uh, the post-colonial period. What was one of the most significant things that you think that you were able to achieve in your trip to Guinea? And second question is, as where Africa stands today in terms of commerce and um, trade, how do you see African-American businesses playing a part or becoming partners with Africans on the continent? Do you think that it's something that is possible? Mm -hmm. um, 
one of the most significant things, a couple of great things happened for me and my um, my producer, cameraman, partner um, as part of the delegation there. Uh, one, we met a tremendous number of fantastic people from Equatorial Guinea. Uh, the people there are just so warm and gracious and smart. Um, Equatorial Guinea amazingly has 80% literacy. That was astounding to me. Um, I don't care what people say about the government, they have implemented um, some amazing things in terms of the people. Uh, you have smart, articulate people there uh, who are bilingual in many cases. And um, one of the things that I enjoyed so much was uh, working with uh, a sister there named uh, Peruchi Apo, who's a singer, uh, performs all over Spain, um, all, over, um, all over Europe and in Equatorial Guinea. Um, and a very, very fantastic vocalist. And we shot a music video for her, which was so great. It's uh, available on, uh, on her website, on Facebook, um, Perucci. And, um, and additionally, we met uh, some really great uh, business people there um, who I'm actually uh, looking forward to working with again. Uh, we shot a a really excellent piece for the Africa Channel. They're called My Malabo. Um, and we connected with an attorney, um, fantastic guy, Abraham Abia. And he took us all around. We went to the soccer stadium. We toured the city. We went to all the neighborhoods. We got out among the people, uh, not just talking to people who were the elite, but talking to everyday people. And it was a fantastic experience for us.